Ariel turned 10 last weekend. And other than the birthday candles not cooperating, the party was a sweet success. The same gentle breeze that brought a welcome reprieve to a warm summer day also thwarted each attempt at lighting the milestone candles for a poolside celebration of hamburgers, chips, confetti cake, and of course, an enthusiastic round of happy birthday. But it didn't put a damper on the excitement though, as the kids enjoyed their special treat, along with a few hours of fun in the sun. Under a blue July sky, laughter pierced the air with cannonball and toothpick jumps, relay races, and even a few belly flops. It was a fun way to beat the heat and have fun in the process. The heat seems really intense this year, and I imagine you're feeling it too. Earlier in the week, I thought about a joke here in the South that talks about how when we're out and about, it's often more important to find a parking spot in the shade than it is to find one close to your destination. That has really resonated with me a lot of places lately, but especially at work, where if I'm not able to find a shady spot in the morning, my car feels like an oven at lunchtime. One morning in particular, as I made my way down a mature, tree-lined sidewalk, a verse from Psalm 121 came to mind. The Lord is the shade upon my right hand. At the time, I couldn't remember the full passage or where it was found, but it took on new meaning under the direct heat of a summer sun. I've been reflecting on the verse off and on since then, and as the pool party wrapped up, Alice and I took a walk through the back field with Chief. At one point during our walk, we stepped into the shade of a tall pine grove to take photos and admire the wildflowers in the wide open space. Once again, the reference seemed appropriate. Without intense heat, we can't always appreciate the shade. But in the face of scorching temperatures and stifling humidity, even a small patch of shade is a welcome reprieve. For me, it's been a special reminder over the past week, something to anchor my thoughts with truth that applies to so many areas of life. We might not always be able to escape the heat that comes our way, but we are covered by the one who will help us bear it. And in closing, here's Psalm 121, 5 through 8. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, even forevermore.